Ah, <sighs> bright and early. Oh, it looks like it's raining. I guess I forgot to check the forecast. Uh, but it is Wednesday, day three of spring. Hello, hello, everyone. I am Andrew Dornan, also known as the 12th kind here on YouTube. And today it's raining, also known as my favorite weather condition, both in this game and in real life. Real knife? Real life? Ugh. We got some mail. Advertisement. I keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack is full. Does this sound like you? Well, Prayer's got you covered. Stop by Prayer's General Store today and check out our affordable size 24 backpack. See you soon. Okay, cool. Uh, but yeah, the reason why I love the rain in this game is because it basic it's basically a free, free watering day where it waters all your crops for free. And I'm like, well, thank you. <laughs> you know, like uh, Beetle in... Uh, the Legend of Zelda games, like in Wind Waker and Skyward Sword, and it goes, THANK YOU! That's how I feel every time it just rains. And, like, especially during times when, like, I don't have enough supplies to keep me, uh, like, keep my energy meter above half while I'm working on stuff, and it's like, today it's gonna rain. I'm like, THANK YOU! Because I'm really happy. <laughs> That's how happy I get when it rains in this game. It's like a gift from God. Uh, anyways, so what I want to do is I want to work on the farm real quick. I just want to grab some quick supplies to make a second chest. Um, as you can see, maple seeds have now started to drop. Uh, I want to grab this. And basically what I want to do is I want to make a chest uh, for my tools. So that way we can store all the excess tools and uh, yeah, I can put it there, and then we open it up and we can change the color. I'm gonna make it that, just so it stands out. Um, let's see, we can put the fishing rod away, and because it's raining, we can put that away as well. And it is Wednesday, so that means the general store is closed. Yep, it is indeed closed on Wednesdays. Uh, but we can definitely see about uh, meeting some more folks around town introductions we have met 19 out of 28 so we just have nine more people to meet and if we go into our social tab we can see exactly who those people are so it's an old man a, a kid a couple of single people I that I recognize immediately as Abigail um, and then there are a couple of others that last one I think we'll be able to meet soon ish <laughs> not entirely sure so that's Shane um let's see it's six no it's 840 but uh some places don't open their doors until later aha uh -huh, okay so there's you ah there he is hello it's irritating to have to meet all these new people huh name's George by the way now buzz off so grumpy. Well, you know, Dad, I'll give him a pass. He's old. <laughs> I'll let him be grumpy. Uh, let's see. That's Pam. We've met Pam. Uh, let's see. There are some more people. Let's see, have we officially met the librarian? Cause he was in the blue outfit. Oh, he's not listed on here. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. All right, well, let's keep poking around and see who else we meet. Let's hop in here. Okay, it's Lewis. Hey, Lewis. Don't mind me. I'm just barging into people's homes. <laughs> you know me. <laughs> it's like a friggin' animal crossing up in here where you just barge in. They're like, oh, hi. <laughs> it's nice to see you, but, like, could you not? <laughs> could you call first? All right, so nobody's here. Alrighty, uh, we can head on over here, see if anyone's in here. Hello? Okay, so he lives here. Aha! I found you! Oh, a stranger! My name's Vincent! Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay! Hi, I burst into your house! Oh, it's Jody. Hi, Jody! <laughs> it is indeed 10 a.m. already. Uh, alright. So, let's see. Getting close. <laughs> Getting close to meeting people. Uh, so... 
Oh, I could have sworn. Uh, I guess it didn't officially count since we just like went to the store and didn't actually talk to him. And we can't actually talk to him because his place is all locked up. And you can try, but it'll be like closed on these days. And we, you're not good enough friends with Harvey to enter his bedroom. Oh, that's his bedroom, eh? Uh, let's see. We have met Harvey. Like, we talked to him a little bit, right? I think so. Vincent, Caroline. Yep, there he is. Uh, there are some of these other people. Okay. We can actually go to our map and we can see where everyone lives. Uh, Marine. Let's see, Mayor's home. George, Evelyn, and Alex. Saloon. Yeah, Abigail lives there. Let's see, what else? We've got Robin, Demetrius, Sebastian, and Maru. Have we met Sebastian? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't I don't think so. That might be him. <laughs> he looks like a Sebastian. Alright, let's get up over here. Uh let's see if this is unlocked. Since it's on the way. Nope, it is still locked. Well, okay. We can keep on going. Go up and around. Now, uh most days. Uh, if it's not like raining or some other form of inclement weather, then um, NPCs will be out and about and doing their thing. Uh, okay, so we've talked to you uh, with... Um... Oh yeah, we haven't talked to her. I don't think so. Uh, da, 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 da. Mm, yes, actually, I think. Yeah. But not Sebastian, who is somewhere? Let's go down. Ah, there he is. You're not good at friends. Enough friends to enter his room. Okay, fine. Alright, well, we can talk to Lee. Or Leia. Lee? Leah? Leah? Not Leah. Leah? I don't know. Uh, we can shop for stuff so we can buy uh, some stuff for our house. Or we can just straight up buy stone and wood. Um, and then we can also upgrade our house and construct farm buildings. Uh, with this, we'll need the materials on hand as well as the gold. So we can get like a barn, a well, a silo, which you kind of need if you want to do other things. Um, a mill. Let's see, what is mill? Uh, create flour from wheat and sugar from beets. Uh, a shed. Fill with other you like. Okay. Uh, a cabin. A home for a friend. Subsidized by the town agricultural fund. So if we get uh, 10 stone, we can actually make cab. Actually, you know what we can do? Oh, it is 20 per stone. <laughs> wow. Okay, then. Uh, but, yeah, let's construct a farm building. Let's see. Oh, we can get a new shipping bin if we feel inclined. Uh, slime hut, uh, hutch? That's not a hutch, that's a castle. Um, but there are definitely, um, the horses included. Oh, good. Um, oh, we can get a one cabin. Ooh, look at all these different cabins. They're nice. Let's get this one. So we can order that. Cost 100 gold. And now we can order where exactly we want to put it. Um, we can have it like all the way over here, or right up against the house. In fact, we could do just that. We could put it right there. Oh wow, it just completely instantly built. The cabin is prefabricated, so there's no construction time. Convenient, isn't it? Well, yeah! Thank you! Ha! Huh. That's neat! That's that's really neat. I actually really like that. Um, all right, so Lewis should be inside of his place. Lewis, here's a dandelion. This is a great gift. Thank you. You're welcome. Figured, you know, later on down the line when I start making excess food that I don't know what to do with, I'll start bringing it over here. Maybe one day I'll accidentally buy a large pizza and have no idea what to do with it and just come over and give it to you a whole big old pizza which is something I actually did in my personal file <laughs> I was like 
I had bought a lot of food and I was like, I can't, it's, right now it's not a very efficient food item. And I was like, well, I need to like start leveling up my relationship with the other members. And I was like, ah, you know what, Lewis, he's someone who's always looking for food. I might as well just give him a giant pizza. And I did, and he really appreciated it, and I felt very happy. I hear a cat. <laughs> that was a bit random. Uh, Alright, so we have some mixed seeds, and we put that down here. And we have an extra thing. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see, we have all these materials. We plop those in there. And we can actually, well, this tree's kind of in the way. And who knows, maybe it might accidentally crash into the the house if need be. Or if or if need be. No, like if the if lightning strikes or whatever or a really bad storm comes through. You know, you don't wanna mess with that. Kind of that's a dangerous what if scenario. Someone could get hurt. Uh alright, let's put the mixed seeds away. Inside and we have uh, a, a space for a friend. So if you've got um, like someone you want to play co-op with, this is how uh, you get them started. Uh, this package belongs to someone else. So basically, once you get a second person in, this becomes their house, and then uh, that package is for them. So basically, the house also comes with some farming tools, which is really neat. Uh, all right, there we go. And do that. And there's a space where, like, a dog bowl and a place for a dog, but we don't have a dog right now. It's just very sad. <laughs> All right. Um. Let's see. I was trying to find other people, and there's still some others that we haven't met. What? What? Hold on. Harvey. Oh, that's Pierre. Right. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> It's marked as us not having met Harvey. And I was like, wait a minute, you dumb. That's not Harvey. <laughs> That's not Patrick. That's an actual gorilla. <laughs> oh, beautiful. All right, so let's run over. Uh, a rock got stuck on my toe. We can't do anything about that uh, mine cart. Not for a long while. I still haven't figured out how exactly get them working again in my personal file which is something we will find out eventually uh speaking of finding out it's really hard when it's raining and you're just learning your way around and learning who these people are and you're like well hmm where where can i find these people emily and Haley. uh have we met both of those uh evelyn gus there's emily uh, Alex, Sam, Lee, Harvey, Robin. I don't think so. All right. Well, let's go down there. Because I was going to go up to check to see if the mine was cleared. Uh, but I don't think so. I think there are some other things that we need to do. Let's just mow the grass. There we go. You got some fiber. Yeah. Oh, hello. The morning I accidentally stepped off. I mean, yeah, it's okay. Wait. What? Hey, Lewis. Hey there, Andrew. Taking a break? Did yeah. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Hmm. Awfully suspicious. Uh, wait. I think I went to the wrong house. Yep. One over. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Who are you? This is like the vine of that kid. It's like, wait a minute, who are you? Like that, I, it's it's great. Uh, all right. Well, we can't talk to those people because they're locked up in the rooms, enjoying the heat and the warmth and the comfort, as aside from the cold and the rain. Which, side note, cold rain is the best. Like, the absolute best. It's locked. Ah, only Lee's friends can enter uninvited. Oh. Uh, let's go in here. Anyone? Oh, hello! More people to meet! Da-da-da. Hi. 
Okay. Hi! I'm new here! Ah, Mayor Lewis told me that you just arrived. I'm Marine! Or Marnie. Marnie. I sell life stocking animal care products at my ranch. You should swing by sometime. Yeah, I'm, I'm here. I'm here now. <laughs> Alrighty. So we have a couple of things we can sell. Make some extra side cash. Um, yeah, and we actually have some bodies of water around our little place that we can actually use for fishing. Alright, um, there we go. I was caught on something. I was like, what's going on? Uh, one thing I really like about the UI, aside from everything, is the fact that, um, depending on where you are on the screen, it, the toolbar will either be on the top or the bottom, and it kind of just responds to where you are on the screen, which is really handy. So nothing's, like, blocking your vision, which I really, really appreciate. And I kind of wish some other games kind of did that, or at least tried to keep you in the center screen as much as possible. But, you know, it's okay. Alright, uh, there's a lot of stone we can get over here. And a lot of these larger rocks, ah, rocks that we can't deal with just right away. But once we actually start getting into proper mining, and like going into the caves and getting all wonderful ores like we saw like there's iron and copper and all that fun stuff um then we'll be able to like really start clearing away some of this area which would be the best thing in the world all right it's getting pretty late it's actually super dark aha we are now experts at using the scythe um excuse you <laughs> but we're not the experts at slicing away at the grass. Alright, there we go. Just kind of clearing all that away. Nice, all good things. Yes. The thing that is the most satisfying, in my opinion, to clear out is the tall grass. Because it's just like, you clear it away and you're like, yes! It's all taken care of. It's like when you mow the grass. Like at first you're like, oh, I have to mow the lawn. Get get rid of all that grass. And then afterwards you're like, that was super satisfying. It's kind of like that. We have two geodes. Oh, we can take those in tomorrow, I believe. Put those in. In fact, we can actually check our map. Blacksmith, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Okay, so not closed on specific days. Which, you know, is nice. Um... Yeah, I think that's actually... Wow. You know, I think we actually did pretty good on trying to figure out who all we... Uh, still have five people to meet. And they're really hard to track down. Like, because they are just all over the place. And sometimes they just stay in their rooms. So... Yeah, tomorrow for sure we'll definitely work on meeting the last five people. And then checking on our crops some more. And, uh, just generally having some fun. Yeah, alright. I think it's about time we had to bed. Because, wow, our energy is low. Um, real quick. We can check our weather report. Welcome to KOZU5, your number one source for weather, news, and entertainment. And now, the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's gonna rain all day tomorrow. Yes, we don't have to water our crops ourselves. <laughs> uh, but with that... Let's go to sleep for the night. Let's see what kind of cash we brought in from foraging. Only 100 gold, but that's okay. That's fine. We can see our little house right there and the clouds looming in the sky. But that's going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Or, like, day four tomorrow. Not tomorrow, tomorrow. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.